Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to paint with us for another fun project where we are doing oh, colorful bunnies. Oh. And they remind me of peeps, which I love to eat. Ooh, big fan. Yeah? Yeah. Because they're marshmallows. Yeah, marshmallows. Covered so in sugar. We're going to be painting colorful ones of that today. Now, we are using an outline. So if you do not have this, go to our website and type in colorful bunnies and you can go to the outline and you can get it for free to paint along with us. Or if you have friends, maybe you say, hey, I'll trace one for you and make one for you. Ooh, that's a good idea. Or you make your own. Oh. So many ideas that you can still paint along. So we are starting with that. Then we have our two brushes. I actually think I'm gonna be using the big one today because I'm gonna be using this whole space. So this is around 10. And then I have my palette, my cup of water, and then the colors we're gonna be using today. Now, I'm gonna show you really quickly is I have three colors. This is magenta, dandelion yellow, and Tahoe blue. But guess what? What? Do you see all the colors we have here? A rainbow, We're a plethora of colors. A plethora, a rainbow of colors. Now, so if you don't have the same exact colors I have, go and grab a red or a pink, some a color that's close to this, grab any yellow and grab a blue, and then you can paint along with us. Yes. Okay, so the first step is, is we are doing our motto. Mm. So if you could raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Now, the first step is, is we're going to do some color mixing. Now, like I said, if you don't have the exact colors, I want you to grab ones that are similar. And you might have watercolors that don't need mixing. So if that's the case and you already have these colors, then you can skip forward and go through that with me. Now, I'm going to mix a few of them. So I have my palette here. And I'm gonna go through, let's put this here. So I'm gonna do, I'm starting with magenta. Now, I'm going to do three drops of magenta here and one drop of magenta here. Now guess what? We're gonna make two different colors with mixing magenta and yellow. Sweet. So for this one, red is three drops of magenta and two drops of yellow. And then orange is one drop of magenta that I have here and three drops of yellow. So what's happening is this one has more yellow because it's closer to here and this one has more magenta. So let's see. Let's do a test for you to see. Because we're gonna make the whole rainbow so that we can do this together. So we have our magenta, here's our red. Here's our orange. Ooh. Mm. Now we're gonna have yellow. Now, do you see how every time I'm switching color, I'm dipping my brush in the water and then hitting it off to the side because we're switching color. So whenever we switch color, we need to wash our brush. So we have those colors mixing. We just used two colors. Guess what? We made two more. Now let's do it again using Tahoe blue and dandelion yellow. So a yellow and a blue. No one told me we were doing magic today. We're doing magic. With all these magical color <laughs> mixings. So for this one, we have yellow. So I'm gonna do three drops of yellow here because there's more yellow and then just one drop of yellow. And then I'm gonna take my blue and I'm gonna do just one drop of blue here and three drops of blue here. So we're doing the opposite. Did you notice that? I did not notice that. I'm glad you pointed it out. This one has more yellow, just one drop, and this one has more blue. Huh. So let's see what happens. So we have yellow. It's like a range. Yes, a rain. Oh, I love that color. Oh, good green. So there's our light green, and then we're gonna have a dark green. It's like a lemon lime snow cone. Oh, that sounds so good right now, even though it's cold. Yeah, it does sound yummy though. <laughs> Anything sweet, we got, a yep. we got candy going. We actually also have our gumball machine, so if you really like candy, you can make that project I, too. I do really like candy. <laughs> okay, so do you see that? We made these two colors just mixing these two, so good job. Now let's complete our rainbow. So we have these two colors. We have a blue and we have our magenta. So what happens when we mix those two together? So let's take our blue, because we're closest to our blue, 
and I'm gonna do three drops of blue and then just one drop of blue here. So to make navy, which is what we're gonna do here, is three drops of blue and one drop of magenta. And this one's the opposite. This one's purple, so there's one drop of blue and three drops of magenta. Now, if this is confusing, you can always pause, but the main thing to remember is that the more you have of a color, the closer it will be to that color. So do you see that? Whereas this color, I have more magenta, so it's gonna be closer to that color. Ooh, oh, that's gorgeous. That's a good one. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay, awesome. So you just mixed all of those colors, so good job for learning that together. So let's set that aside. So why we do that is because I wanted to get us ready to paint. So now what we're gonna do is you get to have fun. Now I'm gonna teach you three or four different techniques to use watercolors, but whenever I use a color, I want you to pick your favorite one. So you don't have to follow the same exact colors I'm doing. Okay, so grab your brush. I'm gonna use my big one because I'm painting a really big area. So first, trick or technique is you're gonna dip your brush in water. Hit it off to the side so it's not too wet and you're gonna pick a color. Keenan, pick a color. Purple. Purple. Okay, so you're gonna pick a color and what I want you to do is I want you to paint the whole bunny. Now, you're gonna pick just this one color and if you run out of paint, you go and get some more. This watercolor technique is called water explosion. So what we're gonna do is we did our first color, and then you're gonna dip your brush in water, swish it around, and then I want you to hit it off to the side, and we actually are gonna use our water as our paint. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your paint and you're just gonna add drops. Oh. <laughs> Look at you that. you see that? They Look, just slowly those, appear. Yeah, that's the cool thing is, as Keenan was making those fun noises, it did it, but then it slowly starts to explode. Oh. That looks beautiful. So that's the first technique we're learning, which is called water explosions. Now, let's see what happens when we do a different technique. So let's swish our brush in water because we're changing colors. Keenan, what's our next color? Uh, we're gonna say orange. Orange. Orange, rhymes with porridge. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna paint your whole bunny color. And then for this technique, we're gonna do color explosions. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna swish your brush in water because we're changing color and then pick a different color. I think I'm gonna do, let's see what if I do this, our magenta color. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna do the same thing. So instead of picking, or you're gonna do the same thing where you're picking up something. So instead of water, we're gonna pick up color mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm gonna add dots. Boop, 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 boop. And it's gonna do the same thing. We're gonna watch that color explode Whoa. into the color. It is so fun to see. Now, <laughs> which one's your favorite so far? I like the purple one. You like the, oh, you like the water explosions? I like the water splashes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so let's do, let's do something different. So do you see how on the bunnies right here, how some of them have little white tails? Yeah. So what we're doing right now is we're painting the front of them and let's paint one that's the back. So if you wanna do some where you see the back of them and you see the cute little bunny tail, is you are going to pick a color, any color, and you're going to paint a circle at the bottom. Okay. Like that, step one. Step uh -huh. two is you're going to paint. Kinda looks like a donkey face before you painted it in. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I had like a nose. You drew into the nose. Yeah. And the outline of the bunny it just looked like a long donkey face. <laughs> you know, like a cartoonized donkey. That's funny. I will, that's very creative to see that. Yeah, thanks. Okay. 
So here's the fun thing. We have this outline, but I always color outside the lines. Lines are just there to help guide you, but it's okay if you color outside the lines. I did also. Mm -hmm. Now, Keaton liked our water explosion one, so I think I'll do this here as well. So I'm gonna clean my brush, hit it off to the side, and then let's do some water explosions. Ready? Ooh, let's see what happens if I do a big one. Okay. Let's have more water on here. Ready? Oh, that wasn't. It didn't. Whoa. There. That was a good one. Oh. Oh. Oh, money. <gasps> Let's try something new, because this is the fun thing, is I want you to try things out. So I have that color. Now what happens if I grab maybe purple and do color explosions in this? Oh. Oh. Doubling up on techniques? Yeah, so we combined our two techniques. Oh, that looks like tie-dye. Whoa, a tie-dyed bunny. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, now, so, do you see how this looks like the back? Isn't that fun? Yeah, like a tuft of tail. Yeah. Okay, so you see when this is dry, is that you see that our tail is popping up. Now, when you were painting, if your tail disappeared or ran off, like Keenan said, <laughs> if, it run, if it goes away, then I have a trick that I can show you at the end, but that you can either use a white jelly roll or if you have white paint, we like to use bleed proof white. So I'll show you if you have those tools at the end because I need my bunnies to dry. So let's keep going through a few different techniques. So the next one is another wet on wet technique. So wet on wet is when you're using wet, it's wet already and you're adding something that's wet to it. So let's just use water, but let's use it first. So I'm painting my bunny, and I know you won't be able to see, but I'm painting my bunny with just water. Then, so this is the first layer that's wet. The second layer that's wet is we're gonna do color explosions. So grab a color, and you're gonna do some color explosions. Ready, Keenan, again? Ready. Doot. Whoa. Whoa, I can't even make the noises because it's so cool to see. Whoa, so you see how right Whoa. when I, I'm barely touching the paper. Whoa. That's amazing. <gasps> Let's, in, I wanna see if I add in yellow, if they'll make green. <gasps> it's gonna mix on its own? Yeah. <laughs> this is so wow. fun. Okay, so this is another awesome fun technique that you can try. Isn't that so cool? So it's another wet on wet technique. Now, let's keep going. I'm gonna give you a few more fun ideas that you can do. The next one is, is making an ombre one. So an ombre means when you go from one color to the next. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a color. Keenan, pick a color again. Uh, let's do like a, t a teal. Teal. Okay, so you're gonna pick the first color then just paint the top half of your bunny and then swish your brush in water and you're gonna pick a color that's kind of close to it. So I think I have my teal right here. Let's mix this blue and see what happens. So pick that color and you're gonna paint the bottom half but when you're doing it, watch what happens when I touch the teal. Ooh. So I went over it a little bit. And do you see how it blended? Yes. <gasps> They're like little buddies. Beautiful. Blended. Love it. Okay. Now, the very last one. Let's do a rainbow one. Ooh, I like that. Okay. So to do a rainbow one, you're going to paint. You can either make it a diagonal rainbow or you can do it horizontal. The trick is to always change color between every new color. Always wash your brush between every new color. And when they touch, it's the same thing like we did here. When they touch, 
the colors will start to blend into the next one. And even I love that, how the red went into my yellow. I think it's so pretty. This one makes me think of those popsicles, the rocket popsicles that are all the colors. Oh, yes. I love those. Now I want to add a bunny tail here. So I'm gonna add a circle right here and then paint around it. Whoa, look at Keenan. Oh my goodness. Watercolors are so fun. It's like they're alive. Yeah. They do it made it kind of look like a tail in it the did. blue. Oh, it does. <gasps> Boom, there we go. Isn't that so fun? Okay. So for the rest of them, I want you to pick any of your favorite techniques that you learned and we're going to paint the rest of this and then we're going to let it dry. So when you're done, take a snack break and then I'll meet you back, okay? Go. So if you, or so when you are done, like I said, you're either gonna let it dry or I have this awesome tool, it's called a heat it craft tool. And I'm going to use this to dry my paper. Okay, so my bunnies are fully dry. Now the very last step is we're going to add eyes and a nose. So we need to make black. Now, if you have a black marker, you can use that. Ooh. If you don't want to mix the colors, but if you do want to mix with me, grab the three colors that we have, and we're going to start with five drops of yellow, two, three, four, five, five drops of fuchsia or magenta, one, two, three, four, five, and then four drops of blue. So you're basically just mixing all three colors. And look at that. Nice. Look what we made. We made black. So oh. I'm gonna switch to my small brush here because they're just doing a really, really small spot. So I want you to do this. Now, when you pick this up, if you have too much on here, when you paint, let me show you this because this is a big thing. When you paint, it may make a really big spot. Now, if you have too much paint, if you have a palette, just go like this to it. Mm. And it spreads out the paint on your paintbrush. So it's a lot more even on here. Now, what you're gonna do is on this part, I'll do it right here, is in the center part of your face, cause it's right here, these are the ears and this is the body, mm -hmm. is you're gonna draw two dots for the eyes. One, two, and then you're gonna draw a small one for a nose. Boop. There you go, it's really small. Now, it's a tiny nose. <laughs> I can make a bigger one. So this is the front. Now this one's the back. So maybe let's do another one right here. So I'll do it bigger here. New bigger eyes and a bigger nose. So you can see it. There you go. So you can add that to the ones that are front are looking at us. Now, remember how I said that I can show you two different tricks if you if your bunnies got covered up. So let's say this one got covered up and you want it or you decide that you want to make this a back. Let's clean your brush. Now, watercolors, there isn't a white watercolor, but this is the closest we're going to get. So make sure your paintbrush isn't dry or not dry, is clean. And you're going to use some water on here and you're going to pick this up. It's an inch, it's like a thicker paint. Let's see, let's make this one a back. So this one might be a good one for you to try. Is What's that, that stuff called, Nicole? This is called bleed proof white. Cool. So this, I think that actually works better. Yeah, it can, does, it look at that. It shows up really, really well. So that's fun. So there you go. So there's two different things that you can do to your painting. So the other fun bonus is if you have our box, or you have this product, it's called Stickles. It's so fun. It's a glitter in a puffy paint, basically. Ooh. So fun. So we have a few projects that you can do if you want to use this more. But what it is, is I'm gonna use this 
to outline my bunnies, just to give it some color and some sparkles. So when you do this, is if yours is, mine's kind of empty, so you're gonna shake it, don't squeeze it, just shake it. So basically you're getting the paint all the way to the bottom. Ooh, I'm gonna outline my rainbow one. Do it. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to point it down and you're gonna squeeze and you'll watch the paint come out. And I'm gonna hover a little bit, so I'm not touching the paper, and I'm just outlining. Now, the reason why I say I'm not touching the paper is if I'm touching the paper like this, I'm scraping into it. Oh, mm. now this may happen. I need to go and get more. So I'm moving my hand up and down like that. And then I'm gonna go and squeeze again. Oh, this is so fun. So the stickles comes in so many different colors actually. So how cool if you can do more colors. I love this product and I bet you're gonna love it too. Yeah, that thing is fun to draw with. Yeah, yeah. So that's how you use the stickles. You can add more, po like if you wanna add polka dots, you can do that. You get to have fun with this. So always remember when you're done, let's close our lids. Make sure to clean your brushes. And then the last thing is share with us what you make. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects and we have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids where you can share us, show us what you made, show us what your bunnies look like. And then that's it. This was a great one again. So you learned all these different techniques that you can use at any point whenever you paint. So remember color explosions, water explosions, using water first and then adding color. You get to make your painting and your life colorful and beautiful. So. Always remember that you're brave, kind, and so creative, and I'll see you next time. Bye.